Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to go ahead and do an impressions video on some e.l.f. products. They had came out with some items to their studio line, mineral line, as well as the essential line. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is called the e.l.f. Studio Baked Blush. This is the packaging for it. Really nice and sleek. The only thing I don't like about it is that the wording is not stamped on there really good, so it tends to kind of smudge off. But other than that, I really do like the package. This color is called Passion Pink. Looks like this. And it does have some swirling, like swirling veining in there. And this color is called Rich Rose. This does have some swirl veining pattern as well in it. Really nice color. So here are the swatches. And I must say I really do like the texture of these blushes, really nice. Of course my favorite one is the second swatch, which is the Rich Rose color. And believe it or not you guys, that's the darkest shade that e.l.f. offers in these blushes. I believe there was, or there are, four blushes total. And they all looked pretty light except for these two, so that's why I purchased them. And as you can see with that passion pink, that is a little light, but I think I can pull this off if I, if I do wear it a little light. These are heavy swatches, so I obviously wouldn't wear them this heavy, but I believe these two colors I can definitely wear, especially that color. But I really do like the texture and finish with these blushes. It's not too shimmery. I really do like it. So here's the Studio Baked Bronzer. It's in the same packaging as the blushes. And this is in the color St. Lucia. It's a real pretty bronzer. This color is called Maui. Really nice color. And this last color is called Los Cabos. I think I'm pronouncing it right. You guys know how I am with names and words. It's spelled C-A-B-O-S. And here's the swatches. Really nice colors. I personally didn't get these for bronzing. I just got these for highlighting for my skin tone. But if you're fairer than me, you can definitely use these for bronzing. But it's really nice. You do get a subtle shimmer not too overpowering and even though this is the lightest color it's still pretty decent they only came out with three bronzers and I did purchase all three so it's not too bad so these are called the elf primer eyeshadows this is part of the essential line they came out with four shades and this shade is called sexy silver it's a pretty standard tube it does have a doe foot applicator this color is called Misty Mauve. This is Sultry Satin. And this last color up is called Coco Loco. Now here are the swatches. Really nice swatches, really nice colors, but I particularly didn't care for this product. I really do understand Elf's concept of what they're trying to do with this, but to me, I don't like it because I literally just swatched it and it's already dry so that's the good thing I mean they do dry so as you can see I'm rubbing back and forth and there's no transfer and it's dry but you have to work super fast to get this to go on the lid and it, like smudge out and that's another thing too smudging these out you're going to have to try to use the applicator because, let me re-swatch this Coco Local color so you can see what I'm talking about. So once you put it on, you have to try to hurry up and blend this out. And when you're blending, it like goes away and then all the product is on your finger or brush. So that's the only thing. And then it literally starts to dry. Like it's all, it's already dry. See, already dry and you've seen me in real life swatch that and blend out I blend it out with this finger and then it's already dry because it did not transfer to this one so 
you have to work super fast using these and I'm not for sure if Elf is marketing these to be used by themselves, but that's the only way you can use these. So I have to play around with this product, but just my initial impression, I really don't like it. Now these are called the Studio Baked Eyeshadows. Really nice packaging. It actually is the same as the blush and the bronzer, except for it's a little smaller. So here's the blush and then there's the eyeshadow. So I can, as you can see it is a tad bit smaller. But it's really nice and this color is called Enchanted. This color is called Burnt Plum. This is called Bark. This color is called Dusk. This shade here is Pixie. And this last color up is called Toasted. So here are Enchanted, Burnt Plum, and Bark. And what I did is the very top row, I swatched it dry, and the bottom row is wet. So I, as you can see, some of these has really good payoff, dry and wet. And obviously, the more, if you use it wet, it does intensify. Especially that enchanted color, you can really see the golden undertones when used wet. And I just used my Evian Mineral Spray. Yeah, the, Evi, the Evian Facial Spray. That's what I use to wet these. And here are Dusk pixie and toasted and as I stated before the top is a dry swatch and the bottom is the wet swatch and it just really intensifies the color when you wet it just really nice color payoff with these I really do like these shadows now here is the new elf mineral mist this is part of the mineral line it's supposed to replenish and revitalize the skin with witch hazel rosemary, chamomile, honeysuckle, and aloe, and vitamin B. So it does have a lot of good ingredients in it. It's all natural, mineral, paraben free. Here's the pump. Really nice product. The only thing about this, I, it's, it's a good product. The product itself is pretty good, but the only thing about this that is a negative for me is that this is eight dollars and you only get one ounce of product versus if you buy let's say I use the Evian spray this is a mineral spray as well let me get it I use the Evian mineral facial spray it does the same thing but you get like five or six ounces yeah you get five ounces of this and this is all about the same price this is between eight to ten dollars versus this it's only one ounce of product and it's eight dollars so I really understand what elf is trying to do with this product I guess this is their version of a facial spray like the um, what is that popular one the Mac fix plus that type of facial spray so this is not meant to set your makeup they have a setting spray for that but this is actually like a refresher supposed to refresh your skin or if you want if you use a lot of powders and you want to spray this on your face it kind of takes that powder look away this is really good to use so I really do like the product but the price elf needs to really either up the product or lower the price so but that's what it looks like again and I'm not really gonna spray it because it does come out it does have a pretty good mist I guess I can so it has a pretty good mist on it really nice you get really good control with this but it's just really not worth it for eight dollars when you can get other products even the um, the Fix Plus, I think that's like $15, $18, and you still get more product in that bottle versus this. So I wouldn't purchase two or three of these than getting just the actual, um, what is it, Fix Plus or Evian spray. 
So, I mean, I do like this, but I just think it's not worth it for the price. So, this is the Defining Mascara by e.l.f. This is part of their studio line. Really nice mascara. It has a traditional bristle brush. Really nice. This brush kind of reminds me of the L'Oreal. God, I can't think of the name, but it's that one with the fiber extension mascara and like the gold tube. This brush is almost identical to that. Really nice mascara. This is a really good mascara. I've used this and I really do like it. It only comes in one shade, of course, which is black. And it does define the lashes. I'm not for sure about volume. It doesn't give volume to my lashes, but it is really good at defining. So it seems to me like every time e.l.f. comes out with a new mascara, it gets better and better. And I really do like this. And this is the other new mascara by e.l.f. And this is the 3-in-1 mascara. It's supposed to lengthen, define, and volumize. And that's exactly what this mascara does. There's the brush. And this is a silicone brush. But I really do like it because it has that little circular top part. Really nice. So this is really good at getting your bottom lashes or the very inner corner of your lashes. Really good mascara. I really do like this one as well. Really nice mascara. And this is in black. They only come in one color. Really good mascara. And this is part of the studio line and this is $3. So this is the e.l.f. 3-piece polish set. It's called Beautifully Bright Nail Polish Set. Really nice set. Elf had came out with about six of these sets and I only purchased one because all of those sets it includes the polishes from their permanent line so none of the polishes are new like new colors. So I only got this set because the other polishes I have those colors already. And this is this is no in particular name but it's number 3810 3810 and in this set you get the colors teal blue, um, yellow, and party peach. So this is the color that e.l.f. is calling teal blue. Really nice color. But in my opinion this is more of a Kelly green. I don't think this is a teal color. But it's real pretty. This is the size. So it's a really nice mini size. You get 0 0.609 fluid ounces, so it's a decent size mini polish. Also, the name is not listed nowhere on the bottle. As you can see, the color name is not on here, so if you're one of those people who like to know the names of their polish, you might want to keep the box. Also, this formula is pretty decent. It's not um, a shimmery polish. This is a cream finish, and this is not streaky or watery at all really good color. You only need one coat. I did however use two coats with the swatch but you only need one coat so that's how opaque this polish is. Really nice. So here's the yellow. Really nice color. This is a cream finish as well. No visible shimmer at all. The only thing is I was really disappointed with this color because this is super streaky. You need about two or three coats to even out the streaks. It's not that watery, but it's just really streaky. So, and I'm not for sure if it's the brush because the other, the teal color, I did not have a problem with that polish, but this one is super streaky. So here's the party peach color. Really nice color. And I wanted to go ahead and clarify the amount of product you get. I said earlier that you get 0 0.609 uh, fluid ounces or, what is it, 18 millimeters. But that is actually for the total weight of all three polishes together. Each one you get 0 0.203 fluid ounces or 6 millimeters. So those are the, that's the accurate weight of the polish, the amount of product you get. And I did pull out the full size. This is also in Party Peach. And I just wanted to compare the size. So there is a comparison right there. 
And in the full size one you get, let's see here, you get 0 0.34 fluid ounces or you get 10 millimeters. So you do get quite a bit of the of the polish in the full size and the full size is two dollars and this three pack is three dollars. But I wanted to go ahead and compare these two because this even though it's the same name and it's the same color it is not the same formula because as you can see they have a new and improved formula on this and this mini one, oops sorry, and this mini one right here this is just really really streaky and I needed again two to three coats for this to try to even out the streaks but it's not watery but it's just ridiculously streaky so I'm not for sure on how they came out with the same color but not the same formula so don't understand that but like I said I do like the concept that they're going for with this three pack you know I wish they would have came out with new colors but I guess they gotta start somewhere but this formula right here, I don't like. And even with the other polishes that I have, with the older formula, I don't have that problem with the streakiness. So I think it probably depends on the color. But this one streaks like crazy. It's just really streaky. And the full size one is perfect. So if you're thinking about getting this kit, this three pack, just for this color, I recommend just skipping out on it and getting the full size. So here is one of those Get the Look sets. This is a five piece purple eye set. Elf just came out with these about, I'm going to say a month, month and a half ago when they released their spring collection. And they only had the neutral set, like a neutral brown, bronze colors. But they had recently came out with two new colors, you know, two new uh, color sets. And this one is the purple eye set. And of course with this set you get the eyelash curler, the mascara, the eyeliner, and a brush. And I'm not going to really talk too much about these because if you look at my other videos, I've already spoken about these so I don't want to go ahead and repeat myself. So I'm just going to go ahead and talk about the shadow. So here is the shadows to that purple set. Really nice colors. There is no name to these uh, little trios. As you can see, it's just numbers on the back. So these are not individually named, but this is the purple set. So here are the swatches. Really nice color payoff. I didn't even have to use a base. I was going to so you can actually see the true color of how bright it can be, but I didn't have to use a base. I think this was pretty good. And it looks like this first one is really shimmery, and these other two was like more of a like a satin pearl, like a satin matte finish and the first one is more of a pearl so that's really nice colors, really good color payoff and here is the last Get the Look set and this is the Smoky Eye set same concept, you know you get the trio and all the other goodies that comes with this set and here is that trio really nice colors And here are the swatches. And I was very disappointed with this trio. That silver color was the most pigmented one. Really nice color payoff. But that blue and the black, very disappointing. Um, I'm pretty sure if you put a base on, it, you can make it work. But that blue was just really hideous. And also that black. I didn't like the payoff that that black. And that's the first black that I've ever had from e.l.f. to even do that. Every single black eye eyeshadow that I have from e.l.f. is very pigmented, but this one is just not doing it. And I really do love the colors. This this um, eye kit was the one I was most excited about because I do have a lot of purples and I'm just, I don't have that many blues. So I really was excited about that blue and it just wasn't, it wasn't doing it. And the blue is more, it's like, it looked like it swatched in the order, like best, okay, and not good. So it was kind of funny how I swatched it in that order, but the silver color was the best, the blue was okay, and that black was pretty poor. 
and that was going over it. I went over that black a lot of times and I don't swatch with my finger. I use either the sponge tip applicators or I use a, a Q-tip and I still couldn't get the color to come up. So thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I really hope this video may help you choosing some of the new products from e.l.f. as far as the color selections and things like that. So thanks again for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing if you have and I will talk to you guys later.